absolutely love interviewing people, especially when I interview people that have talents that are so far removed from my own personal, personal talents, like art. We were talking about this earlier. Dr. Lucy Marlowe, you at three years old began drawing human profiles. So you were basically born an artist. It was my first love. My mom, mm -hmm. who has three other children, used to be concerned about me because I was quiet. And as all parents know, when a child's quiet, sure. it's never a good thing. But I was always busy drawing, so it was definitely my first love. And your father uh, was a professional artist? Yes, my father was an artist. I grew up watching him paint. I would be uh, hiding in the corner. I was so in love with it. I just wanted to see the whole process. I have always loved it. So, so do you truly think that artists are born rather than made? I think it's probably different. I think some of us are born and I think sometimes throughout our life and different experiences we discover talents and fall in mm -hmm. love with new things. So mm -hmm. I think it's individual. Mm -hmm. And when I asked you earlier, you know, I said, Lucy, how often do you find yourself painting? You said not enough. So my mind goes to myself of thinking when I have writer's block or when I have this idea of something I want to paint and I have the end in mind and I, I can't do it. I, I just, you know, I get stuck. That apparently doesn't happen to you. I guess what I meant by that is when you love something that much, it's never enough. It's never enough. <laughs> it's never enough. So, so is this the way you make your living? I mean, you are a doctor. You have a PhD. I actually have been uh, making my living with painting for the last 12 years. So Congratulations. I feel, thank you. I feel very blessed because when you get to do what you love, it's a privilege. And when people are responding to it, it's absolutely incredible. So I'm very thankful. So when I look at your art, it's very distinct. I can tell this is Lucy Marlowe. This is her art. Absolutely beautiful. I see a lot of straight lines. It almost reminds me of geometry in some ways. Where do you get your ideas for your art? I used to paint realism. Uh, and for 11 years, I put the paintbrush down running the center, was all consuming, and uh, I found it hurt too much to have to put it down. <laughs> so it was almost easier not to do it at all. And I don't like to double, and I had a hard time doing both. And I realized one day that it takes no courage to keep running from, from what you're scared of. Uh, for me, it so, was- So you faced it. So I faced it, and uh, I've been painting ever since. I realized that it doesn't make sense to wait till someday to paint, or one day when you're retired, when you love something. And I think after not painting for 11 years, this is what came pouring out. Why, why did you go away from it for 11 years? I found that being able to do it a little bit, uh, just I missed it too much. Mm. And I all or nothing. It was an all or nothing. And then you realize that uh, to do it a little bit was better than not to do it. Mm -hmm. And it was a process. And I wanted to, my father was an artist. So when things were good, they were really good. Mm -hmm. When they were tough, they were Feast really tough. Famine. And I really didn't want to put my family through that. So I think I was afraid of doing my art. And I realized, no, I want to do it in a way that doesn't compromise mm -hmm. my family. Mm -hmm. And thank God it's going to something that I'm doing full time. Yes. And now as a nutritionist, I also get to practice what I preach in yes. the sense that I work from home and get to feed my family healthy food. So I feel like I'm living a more balanced life, which is wonderful. Sure. When I look at the colors too, they're very vibrant. Is there a reason behind the colors that you choose? Do you ever use more muted colors? Uh, the reason I choose the vibrant colors is because I have a zest and passion for life and a love for people and the environment. and. Uh, the theme of my paintings has been maintaining optimism throughout mm -hmm. life's trials and tribulations. And mm -hmm. I like to use the vibrant colors to remind us of the joys and the magic of life. Mm -hmm. I, I love that, you know, maintaining opti optimism through the trials and tribulations of life. We all have them. Let's take this painting right here behind you, for example. I mean, were there any trials or tribulations that were going on in your life? while you were painting this? Actually, that's one of my happier paintings. And mm. what I try to do, it's called Glow. And what I try to depict in that painting is when we are happy, when we're balanced, there's almost a glow. And that's where yes. the magic of life comes from. Yes. So this was a very happy piece. Oh. You know, I, my daughter loves art, and it's something she's very interested in, so I've been researching schools. It's extremely competitive. You have to have art portfolios to get into certain colleges for art. Would you recommend or would you guide children to say, you know what, go full force into art or make sure you have a PhD in nutrition, for, for example, to, to always make sure you can support yourself? How would you guide a child in that? I've always been a little bit of an idealist, but I think uh, if you do what you love, the money will fall if you're really passionate about what you do. So I think in order to be happy, I think we need to follow our love, whatever that may be. Any of your children, have they followed your, uh, your, your passion? 
Uh, I don't have children. Oh, you don't. I'm sorry. I thought you said that when you were home, you had family. You provide for your family. They're, they're, they're absolutely spectacular. Um, I love the names that you give your work. Thank you. Does that come after you do the piece, or does it come while you're doing the piece? Where, where does the name come from? Uh, it depends. Sometimes I have a concept that I try to convey, and most of the times I do. So the name is usually a concept that I'm trying to convey. And, and last night was the Art Walk? Yes. Was that in Scottsdale? That was in Old Town Scottsdale. In Old Town. I've always wanted to do that. What a fun event. How was that? It was wonderful. We had a wonderful turnout. And what was exciting for me is two short years ago, I saw it as a tourist. Uh -huh. And, as and a, here you are in it. And here I am in it. So it was a dream come true. Oh, wonderful. And tonight you have a signing? Uh, tomorrow afternoon, we're doing a Meet the Artist okay. uh, from 1 till 4 at Zadadu Gallery. At, at, and where is that? Uh, that is in Old Town Scottsdale. And it is in 7039 East Main Street. And that, that's where the event is tomorrow okay. afternoon. Okay. Thank you so much, Lucy Marlar. A pleasure to talk to you about what it's like to truly be an artist. So thank, thank you, you for much. sharing the insight into your profession. Thank you. thank you for joining us. And stay right there. We'll be back to wrap up the show after the break.